A year ago, I asked my roommate to be my boyfriend. He said yes. Now on this day every year, not only is it our anniversary, but it's also his birthday. He has this old mattress that used to be like someone's grandma's. It's like a thousand years old. I don't know if you can tell, but it sinks down like so far. So I decided for our anniversary, I would surprise him with a new mattress. So I find a place and I find the perfect mattress and I place an order. And I'm driving home and suddenly I hit a pothole, which I couldn't see because it was full of water. Such a loud noise. It was like, bang, car starts going, so I pull over here, like I'm in the middle of like nowhere, nowhere near home. It turns out I popped two of my tires. Two passenger side tires are deflated. Not like flat, they're like no air left. They look like melted pancakes. <laughs> uh. So I had to get it towed. So the day arrives and the plan is the mattress will be delivered before Taryn gets off work. Hello? Hey, what's up? So... They called back about the car and it's gonna be like really expensive to fix it. Really stressed out about it. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to like afford this. I just feel bad about the car, I know that you- I feel so shitty saying this. I know it sucks, but do you think, would you mind if your birthday presents waited until after? A bit yeah, later? That's fine, I don't, I don't mind at all. You don't even have to get me anything, honestly. I'm sorry, I'm just like really uh, stressed and I don't know what to do right now. Uh, I under- honestly, it doesn't bother me at all. Thanks, I'm sorry again. I'll see you later. I'll love you. you. Bye. Okay, love you. Mattress Place calls me and tells me it's been delayed. Now it's going to arrive at 7, which is after Taryn gets home from work. So I call our friend Morgan and I'm like, can you take Taryn to the mall and keep him busy until the mattress gets here? Starting to panic a little bit because I still have to get the mattress set up after it gets here before Taryn gets home. Then the delivery guys call me and tell me that the mattress is now going to be delivered between 8 and 8.30. The mall closes at 9. So now it's 8.30. Still no mattress. Morgan's texting me like, is it there yet? The finally, 8.45, and the delivery guys show up. Karen and Morgan are on their way home. I'm telling Morgan to stall for his life. So I'm pulling the mattress inside. It's way heavier than I expected. I'm struggling with this thing, and it won't fit between the couch and the fridge. So I have to lift it over the couch. I'm like sweating and panting. This is a serious workout. As I'm pulling it into his room, I hear a crash. Well, I broke something. Apparently, I've broken a photo frame. I broke. I broke things. This is fixable. Finally, I get the mattress into his room and onto his bed, just in time for Morgan to tell me that they're in the driveway. Okay, the room is there, room is there. The room is there. Oh no, something fell. Oh, something always falls. Oh, she's coming home. We gotta go. We gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. I couldn't find a big enough bow for the bed, so I just put a bow on me. And then I hid for the surprise. I can hear them come in and my heart's like pounding and I'm just like hiding, waiting for them to come. And I'm waiting and waiting. And I'm like, where is he? And apparently Taryn went to go check the mail. I was like, hurry up, get inside. <gasps> Happy birthday! Oh. <laughs> Thanks! Chris, what are you doing? I didn't even think you were home. I got you a mattress. How did you even afford a mattress? I thought you said that you couldn't do anything because of the car. No, so I tricked you. But he was actually really surprised, and I'm surprised that he actually didn't catch on. Especially after Morgan kept him at the mall for like three hours. Oh, I can't believe it. <sighs> I'm so amazed. The deliver guys kept delaying, and I was like, Morgan, keep him at the mall. Oh. <laughs> That's why. Thank you for your help, Morgan. Oh, That's three hours. Ago. I know they kept delaying it. When Taryn walked in, I think he thought I was a robber. Chris isn't here. So there's water on the floor. Someone's in here robbing us right now. <laughs> I was just like, holy crap! I was like in robbery mode. <laughs> <laughs> I should have turned all the lights off and jumped out of here. But I think it was a success. It wasn't too expensive. I, I'm like, I'm not even kidding. I did not expect this at all. Yeah. Is it comfy? Mm How -hmm. comfy? You come from the to you want to sleep now. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe.